Well, the 2020 general election has brought historic firsts on both sides of the aisle. Hey, we want to turn to Wyoming for one of those firsts. Former Congresswoman Cynthia Lummis won her race to become the state's first woman U.S. senator, helping the equality state live up to its nickname. And the senator-elect Cynthia Lummis joins us now. Ma'am, thank you so much for being here. What is it with your state? Wyoming is the first state, actually, officially, that gave women the right to vote. You all actually had all women candidates for all of your seats this time around. And here you are heading uh, to the Senate. So what is it with Wyoming? Well, Wyoming is the equality state because it was the first state to grant women continuously the right to vote. And uh, we did it 50 years before the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. So we celebrated the 150th anniversary of women's vote while other states were celebrating just 100 years. <laughs> Wow. Senator-elect, uh, you got another first under your belt. This one, uh, very interesting. You're the first senator to own Bitcoin. I'm going to be fully transparent here and say I'm not well-versed in Bitcoin, but I know that there are <laughs> a couple people who believe, yes, you should be an advocate for this type of currency, and then there are other people who are raising some concerns that this could be a, a front for money laundering or for some sort of tax evasion. Where do you stand? Where, how, do you hope to bring Bitcoin uh, into the national conversation? I do hope to bring Bitcoin into the national conversation. I'm a former state treasurer, and I invested our state's permanent funds. So I was always looking for a good store of value, and uh, Bitcoin uh, fits that bill. Uh, our own currency inflates. Uh, Bitcoin does not. It's uh, 21 million Bitcoin will be mined, and that's it. It is a finite supply. Uh, so I have confidence that this is going to be an important player in stores of value for a long time to come. Well, we are more well-versed now after <laughs> that answer. And uh, Senator-elect, something else timely here um, is what's happening in D.C. right now. Uh, President Trump endorsed you, actually sent out a tweet saying that you were a great woman and a great friend, and he gave, <laughs> got your full, has your, you have his full support. You said you appreciated that. Well. What's happening now? Does he have your full support for what he's doing, which many are saying he should be conceding this election, and now there's a bigger drumbeat of Republicans are saying he should be more cooperative with the transition team and actually even concede the election. Where do you stand on what he should be doing? Well, recall that uh, uh, Democrats did not concede the election uh, between Al Gore and George W. Bush until the middle of December. Uh, and that's because they wanted to make sure that all the votes were properly counted, that legitimate votes were cast, and that illegitimate votes were thrown out. So the integrity of this election needs to be uh, verified. But ma'am, do you uh, question so the integrity of this election when every official count and every official and even the Homeland Security Department has come out and said this was the most, uh, most secure election in American history? Do you believe there is something about this election that was fraudulent on a small scale or even a wide scale? You know, I, I sat on my state's canvassing board. Canvassing boards are the ones that certify elections. And they need to be the ones who judge uh, whether uh, there were votes cast uh, that should not have been, whether there were votes cast after important deadlines, and whether their state's laws have been complied with. Uh, so as a former member of a canvassing board, I feel strongly that they need to be the judges of that uh, effort. And when it has been pointed out by the Trump administration or in any election uh, that there are questions about ballots, uh, it is very important that canvassing boards not act until they're absolutely confident uh, that these concerns that have been raised have been fully vetted and explored. So bottom line, you do not believe President Trump should concede. No. Oh, heavens no. Because the canvassing boards uh, have not even uh, brought their results uh, forward in many of the states where questions have been raised. And so, you know, I applaud President Trump uh, when issues have been raised in certain states about uh, voter uh, integrity instances of voter fraud, uh, that they be fully vetted and, and our system 
uh, will be better for it going forward into the future uh, by efforts that are undertaken in this election and every election uh, to ensure uh, that we have a true, uh, accurate count. Senator-elect Cynthia Lummis, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Congratulations to Wyoming. Continuing to make, uh, to make some history there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.